Gerald. Gerald asks, why you guys all want to use goggles? Can't you use Linux and a monitor? <laughs> oh. Welcome to the hobby, Gerald. Uh, welcome. Uh, you're new here. It's cool. Uh, and uh, that's a question that many people have when they first get into the hobby. Uh, the main reason that people aren't using uh, just generic display devices like your cell phone, you know, or whatever, is the latency is too high. Uh, you need really low latency to fly FPV, especially proximity to obstacles like certain types of freestyle and racing. You need latency, ideally less than, let's say, 50 milliseconds, glass to glass. And, uh, you know, that's that's a, ideally less, but 50 or 60 milliseconds, I think, above that is where it starts to be like, oof, this is really, this is really affecting me. And many devices that will take a picture and display it wouldn't do it fast enough. Um, the other thing is that we're using goggles because putting goggles on your face is more immersive. When you have other visual inputs, it's distracting. And when you only see that one visual input, you actually, you know, people will lean to the side. It, you, it feels like you're in the aircraft. Um, the other thing is when you're flying outdoors, a screen will oftentimes have glare and it makes it hard to see what's going on. So you need like a really high brightness screen to use it in the daytime. Whereas with goggles, you don't need extraordinarily high brightness because it's an enclosed environment. Um, goggles are self-contained and small. So when you're traveling somewhere to go fly, you don't want to have a Linux box and a, a screen. You don't want to take out a screen to fly like in the middle of the woods, in the middle of a movie set. Well, a movie set, you might have a screen because you'd have a space. But goggles are small. They're portable. They work everywhere. You put them on. You take them off. There's nothing to set up. These are some reasons why we use goggles. So... <laughs> 